You're being such a good girl. Let's go walk in. Yeah. Hey guys, Johnny Nerd out here uh, with my associate Josie. We want to talk today about dog trailers. If you're new to this channel, I'm Johnny Nerd out. I love all things e-bikes and e-bike accessories. So today I want to talk about dog trailers. If you're anything like me, you like taking your good boy and or good girl with you on your bike adventures. So today I want to talk about this one. This is a Solvit Houndabout. I probably bought about six dog trailers and returned all of them. This is the only one that I've held on to and I've had it now for about a year. So this is pretty much the only one that I recommend. I've owned a lot of them. I've, yeah, I've bought and returned a lot of them until I found this one. This one I like because it's big, it's spacious, and it's rated for 110 pounds worth of dog. This is Josie, she's only 35 pounds. She says she's only 30 pounds, but we all know better. And she fits comfortably in here and I could fit another dog in here, no problem. I have another dog, but she just is a better model. I like this bike because it attaches to pretty much any bike. It comes with a standard quick release skewer, um, but it'll even work with bikes without a quick release skewer because I don't have one. I have an internally geared hub that is just pressure mounted with a lock nut and I was able to put this in between there and fits just fine. Yeah, I know a lot of people have had luck with just converting like two child bike carriers, either taking the seats out or removing some of the interior seats and other things in there to make it bigger. Um, you might have luck doing that. I just like this one because it was made for the dogs. It's got everything built in. It's got these tether points inside here. You could attach two dogs to it. I like to put them on like a body harness so that it keeps them in there safer. Um, if you put them on their collar, it's kind of, I don't know. I feel like it's more dangerous and it's just, it might hurt the dog. But this one's nice. It's got a little see-through uh, solid, not glass, but it's like plastic window. So if it's raining, you could put that up and they won't get wet. It's got a solid roof here, you can put that up. Dogs probably are not gonna like it, but it does have mesh sides there, a mesh back door, so you can let the dogs in and out through the back door. It's nice, it's got little pockets there, you keep all your leashes in there and I don't know, everything else. It's a really nice trailer. Like I've said, I've owned about six of them and this is the only one that I've held on to. The next thing I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna put those Tannis tire liner inserts in these tires because I got a flat tire on this one and I said no more, no more flat tires. One thing to be cautious about is if you're gonna be adding this to an e-bike like I do, just ride very careful because you're gonna be going faster and you know you don't wanna scare your dog, which they're already gonna be scared riding in this if it's their first time or if their first 10 times. I've ridden with her for the last like eight years now, so she's pretty much used to it. But for the first 10 times, your dog is gonna hate it until they realize, hey, when I get in this thing, I go to a nice place, a fun place. Make sure you take them to a fun place. But just be careful with it. If you hit a curb, you go over curbs fast, or you know, this thing could spill out and you don't want this thing spilling over with your dog attached to it. So just ride very, very cautiously, extra cautiously. Fortunately, I'm not speaking from personal experience, but yeah, just, just ride carefully, ride responsibly, and have fun. Take your dog with you on your adventures. All right, thanks guys.